Hi everybody, it's Becky from Icing on Top Becky's Cakes and today we're gonna make these ice cream cone cupcakes. I'm gonna make them in two different styles and then share with you my tips, tricks, and mistakes I made while making these so that you can learn from my mistakes and the tips and tricks I picked up on this. So first, I'm gonna put all my cones in a pan like this. It's like a cake pan, disposable cake pan, and I'm gonna use some heavy duty aluminum foil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two rows of this on. So I'm gonna um, just, this, you could do the one, but mm, we did two because we wanted to make doubly sure that it was more sturdy and I was glad, especially since I also use these for transporting after I used it for baking. Um, it still worked for transporting and I was able to transport with only knocking over one. <laughs> so I was glad that I did two layers of this heavy duty aluminum foil. Um, so definitely don't skimp on the foil because this is gonna be the sturdiness that keeps your uh, cones from tipping over when you put them in the oven and when you transport them places. So uh, go ahead and go all the way with that foil. And then I'm gonna get out a sharp knife and I'm gonna make a little X in my aluminum foil in order to put my cones in. So the cones I use were the Keebler, just regular cake cones. Uh, you could get any brand that you want, but I happen to use these Keebler ones this time. And they actually come with instructions on the box for making these, but I didn't follow their just instructions because uh, of all the things I heard online. <laughs> so uh, I decided that I was gonna use a cake pan instead of a muffin pan, but you can try with a muffin pan, but it didn't seem like that would be too sturdy. And I think a lot of people had trouble uh, knocking these cones over by putting them in a muffin pan or a cupcake pan. So I'm gonna use this method and I was glad this, this part of the method actually worked really well. So I'm just stab it this uh, right in and then I make an X and then I kind of push down on this X and that kind of pushes those flaps down and easily inserts the cone. You do not want to crunch the cone when you insert it so make sure you make the X big enough and then you just kind of press down on those little uh, flaps and then gently gently put the cone in and then once we get all of our cones in this way. I'm gonna make sure that they're level and not like tilted sideways. So you wanna kinda of press them down a little gently, make sure that they are gonna be level and that they keep the cake batter level. Another tip is I also put my, this cake decorating pan on uh, a big uh, jelly roll pan, uh, cause I had two of these and the jelly roll pan just added extra stability. You don't need the jelly roll pan, but that's what I did because I wanted to be extra <laughs> cautious. So I put them in a jelly roll pan. Now I'm just gonna use a doctored cake mix, but you can use just regular cake mix too, but I always add the extra egg and milk instead of water. And here is my handy dandy ice cream scooper, which is what I use anytime I make cupcakes. This is uh, really simple for making cupcakes or these. Um, now. This is the part that you learned from my mistake. I used a level uh, ice, cream scoom, ice cream cone scooper for each of these, but I should use just a teeny bit less because um, I noticed that some of these, it baked over. It, it was a little too full. So try to do just slightly less than my ice cream, scoons, ice cream cone scooper. I can't say that word. And uh, so all of these, little less than mine and it'll probably turn out better. I cooked it at 350 for about 20 minutes, but you should probably start checking at 15 minutes, especially if you don't accidentally overfill them. Then a tip also is to use a toothpick to poke a hole in the bottom afterwards so that it can vent properly and not get soggy on the bottom. Then I'm gonna use my American buttercream recipe and I'm gonna put the link for that in the tutorial below. And then again, my handy dandy ice cream cone scooper. <laughs> and I'm just gonna scoop this like this to make sure that all the air bubbles are out of my ice cream and that it's level. And then I'm just gonna put this ice cream cone scooper right on top of my uh, cupcakes. And that's gonna make it look like a scoop of ice cream on my cupcakes here. So there we go, we're just gonna place a scoop there. And then uh, to make it look like it has been freshly scooped ice cream, I'm just gonna grab a spoon and I'm gonna go around the bottom of this. 
and I'm just gonna press down all the way around so it looks more like a freshly scoop, scooped ice cream. <laughs> I'm having trouble with the word scoop today. And so here is my ice cream cone. So half of these I'm gonna do in the scoop style and the other half I'm gonna look like soft serve ice cream. So I'm gonna start with these and I'm gonna place all of these in the fridge. So this whole tray I'm gonna put in the fridge for about 20 minutes till it gets kind of chilled because I want them completely uh, chilled before I put my uh, ganache strip on it. And the cooled uh, buttercream will help harden that slightly warm ganache strip. So always put the ganache on buttercream when it is slightly warm if you want to drip and completely room temperature when you want to pipe. So slightly warm being like 90 degrees, but you can always put it in the um, away for five seconds to warm it up a little bit more until it is more drippy. So I'm just gonna place all these straight in the fridge and then we're gonna get out our other supplies and get to the fun part, which is putting all the toppings on the ice cream. So off to the fridge they go for about 20 minutes while I get the rest ready. I got sprinkles and how many of you have a giant jar of sprinkles? Just me, maybe, but whatever sprinkles you want, you can get those out. And then I am gonna get some maraschino cherries out. Now these I do not want dripping down my ice cream. So I'm gonna completely dry them off. I'm gonna use some paper towels to completely blot all of the cherry juice off of these. And then here's my ganache. This has been uh, sitting on the counter for a while. I'll put my easy ganache recipe in the links below as well because this is so easy. It is simply chocolate chips and hot water and it tastes scrumptious. And it is the easiest thing in the world to make. And so after it has cooled to about 90 degrees, so it's like this, instead of completely liquid, I'm gonna put it in a piping bag. And you can put this piping bag on a cup and that makes it easier to fill it like this, but I'm just gonna put it over my hand cause I'm gonna get going with this. And as you can tell, my piping bag is folded in half that keeps everything inside just like you would do when filling it with buttercream. So you always fold it in half when you do it with buttercream, fill your bag half, and then pull it up like this so that all the messiness stays inside the bag and not on the outside of your bag. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut the tip of this uh, bag after I twist the end, again, just like you would if it was filled with buttercream. And that keeps it from coming out the wrong side, right? So let's just snip this and drip it right down this chilled buttercream and it'll make a really cool drip effect and then it'll harden because it's got chilled buttercream and so it, those drips harden and they just look so yummy because it's a nice shiny drip and super yummy so i'm just gonna pipe it on the top give it a little bit of drips down certain sides and it'll go a little farther so keep that in mind and just gonna let that drip a little farther and see how it hardens because of the chilled buttercream. But if this is too hot, if you notice it's too hot on one of these, let your ganache come to more of a room temperature than it is, because you don't want it super runny, because that's not the effect we're going for. And then we're gonna go ahead and pipe on the top. We're gonna pipe something that looks like whipped cream, but is still our buttercream. I'm gonna put our buttercream in a bag, but I'm gonna put a 1M tip on the bag and I love that 1M tip. It's it's gonna go great for our soft serve ice cream too. So this is gonna be the whipped cream. We're just piping straight up, straight up for this. And then we're gonna put some sprinkles on that and then a cherry on top. And, and that's it for these, uh, this style. And we're gonna go ahead and do the soft serve style next, which we're still using the 1M tip for the soft serve style. And uh, so I did, the, the one cake box mix made 24, so that's great. It made 24 just like it would 24 cupcakes, so that was perfect. So this 24, I'm doing soft serve style, and this to me is easier uh, because I enjoy piping so much that it just makes a less steps. So you just start in the middle and you go around that middle like you would a rosette, and then you work your way up smaller and smaller circles 
always pipe in from the bag so that you're not pressing in but letting the buttercream work its way out of the bag and that makes it look more fluffy and if you want more tips on how to hold and use a piping bag I'll also put that link down below because that might have been completely new for you and it's really easy once you get the hang of it and so I'll give you my beginners class in the link down below um, to hold and use a piping bag and how to use different tips and stuff but those can't turn out super cute so those are our soft serve uh, ice creams right there and there's our hard ice cream right there with the scoops and then the inside you can see how they have the cupcake going all the way through the cone these were super super fun and would make anybody happy at a birthday party thank you so much for joining this tutorial with me and please subscribe to my channel